You're talking about motivation, that's it. And that's what I'm going to be talking about is motivation. West Texas rancher had a coming out party for his daughter. Now, this was one of those real rich Texans. I mean, thousands of acres of land, tens of thousands of head of cattle, dozens of producing oil wells. I mean, a great big house and an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Now, this coming out party for his daughter, a salespeople refer to that as group prospecting. I mean, he wanted to have a look of all of the fine young men in West Texas, so they came in from 100 miles away. Well, they had a marvelous occasion, and along about midnight, the host invited them out to his Olympic-sized swimming pool, which he'd had the foresight to stock with water moccasins and alligators. And he said to the young men, he said, now the first one of you young men who will jump in this pool and swim the length of it, he said, I'll give you 5,000 acres of my best land. And if you don't want the land, he said, I'll offer you $1 million in cash. And he said, if you don't want that, I will give you the hand of my beautiful daughter in marriage. Now, I don't have to tell you fellows this, but I think it's obvious that everybody knows that she is our only heir. And the one who gets her for his bride will eventually get all of this. Well, the words were no sooner out of his mouth than there was a loud splash at one end of that pool, followed by an almost immediate emergence of a dripping young man at the other end of that pool. He had set a world's record which will never even be approached. Well, the host was all excited. He ran down there, and as the young man was just shaking himself off from that fast swim, he said, Congratulations, son. That's absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. He says, do you want the 5,000 acres of my best land? The young man said, no, sir. He said, well, do you want the million dollars in cash? He said, no, sir. Well, he said, then, son, I've got to assume that you want the hand of my beautiful daughter in marriage. The young man said, no, sir. And the West Texan said, well, son, for crying out loud, what do you want? The young man said, I want to know. The name of that dude that pushed me in a swimming pool. <laughs> when you know within yourself that there's something you want to do, and I believe that all of us were born with a purpose, that all of us have something that we are supposed to do, that all of us have some goodness within us, and that goodness gives us a responsibility to manifest our greatness. And when you know that, you can feel it in your guts, and you know that you're deliberately operating below your potential, you've gotten comfortable, you stop expanding, you stop stretching, you stop challenging yourself. Let me share something else with you. Not only is it possible for you to have your dream, but it's necessary. It's necessary that you have it, that you work on it, that you develop yourself, that you go for what is yours in the universe. At some time or another, have agonized over making a decision. Some decisions are major decisions. And also there are a lot of small decisions that we don't make. That they tax our minds, they drain our energy. They create a lot of anxiety and nervousness and mental torment because we don't take care of it. We decide not to decide, which is a decision. Deciding to decide, to act, is a major, major challenge for all of us at different points in different areas of our lives. And there are things that happen to us along the way, experiences that we have that prevent us from working through the mental block of acting, of doing those things that we know we ought to do. And so what I want you to think about is what is there that you know you need to do that you want to do this but for some reason or another you've been holding back for some reason or another you just have not been able to gather your nerves or be able to work through the procrastinating or putting it off or justifying or blaming some reason or another you just haven't done it and you know you ought to do this you really want to do this but you don't know why you haven't done it because in order to begin to reinvent your life, you've got to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort. That you really have got to put all of yourself into it. It's very challenging 
to act, to do those things. There are times when you're looking at it and you say, I, I know I need to do this, but I don't feel like it. I don't want to do it. I know I need to do it, yet leave me alone. No, I don't want to do it. So what do we do? What are those things that, that cause us to do like that? I think that among the things that prevent us from acting is the fear of failure. And if you've already failed, you don't want to fail again. The pain of that, the disappointment, the fear of loss is another thing. Because many times when we do those things that we know we need to do, we feel that we might lose somebody that we love very much and care about. We don't want to hurt anybody. Many of us don't act because we want other people's approval. We want everybody to like us and to accept us. And that's not possible. Many of us don't do the things that we want to do and don't act because of lack of self-confidence. We don't believe enough in ourselves. And so there are many reasons why we don't act. There are other things though that affect us is that not wanting to take personal responsibility. We want somebody else to do it. And we, many times we pick up our inability to do certain things from people that we love, people that we admire. What I'm saying to you is that as you begin to look out on your life, this is challenging, this is not easy, acting. So what are the things that we can begin to do to harness our will? Number one, you've got to bring it out and look at it. You've got to take the power out of it. You've got to expose it to the truth. And the truth is, that it has no power over you. So write down something you want to act on, but for some reason that you've been holding back and look at it. The next thing is, ask yourself the question, is it helping you to continue to put it off? If it's an asset for you to continue to, to procrastinate, then continue to do that. But if it's a liability for you, if it's causing you some mental and some emotional challenges or perhaps a financial problem, look at that. Examine that for what it is. Next step, ask yourself, what's blocking you? What's preventing you from acting? Why don't you have the courage to handle that? Why won't you face that? What are you running away from? What kind of avoidance behavior are you engaged in? Next is, what is the worst thing that can happen when you take action? Next is, how will you feel after taking this action? I felt a sense of personal achievement when we look out on our lives. You ask the question, what are you going to do? Look at, as you think about this that you know you need to handle, what are you going to do? And then write down three strong reasons on why you know you must take action. And being explicit and descriptive in your reasons because your reasons have power. Your reasons will drive you. When you have doubt, when your faith becomes weak, your reasons will fortify your faith. When you have an inner conversation, say, no, don't do that. Your reasons will become your rod and your staff to comfort you, to take you through those challenging moments. So write down your reasons. And what you will find, that when you decide to act, when you decide to take life on, and let me warn you, it can be painful, it will be uncomfortable, and that's where the growth is. When you're uncomfortable, when you're stretching out, when you're taking life by the collar, you're gonna get thrown to the ground again and again and again. But when you have determination, and you know that what you're doing is right. It gives you your life. It gives a special meaning and power to you. You will have some power from on high. You will discover some things about yourself that will begin to electrify your personality. You'll begin to discover some things about you that you don't know you've got.